Hey guys, it's Steve Kelzot again. I'm the broker at Savvy Realty here in Las Vegas, Nevada, and you are watching The Broker's Life. I am currently in Veer Towers, and I'm in one of the most popular floor plans in Las Vegas, um, actually in, the, in this tower in Las Vegas. One bedroom, one bath, and it has an amazing strip view. Take a look right behind me. Um, right on Las Vegas Boulevard, you got the Crystal Shopping Center right below you, and of course, the world famous uh, intersection here with one of the biggest, it's Harmon and Las Vegas Boulevard, and one of the biggest signs in the world. This is actually an LED sign that is a football field length in size. It is massive. And of course, you got the airport and MGM over on this side. Really cool view. Um, this one's listed at $630,000. Pretty good deal for this kind of a view. Wow, I just sold one that was actually a lot smaller than this for a lot more than this with a good view as well. Uh, let me get into the unit. Uh, this is Veer Towers, one bedroom, one bath, 841 square feet, and one of the most popular floor plans in that tower. Let's take a look at it. Check it out. Let's see, take a look at this kitchen right now. Oh man, take a look. All right, so here it is. We have the bedroom off to the right. We have the kitchen over here. What I really like about this floor plan is that you, this is built in. This is not after the fact. This is actually something that was here from the developer. You have an island with a table on it, ready to go for four chairs comfortably. You have outlets in your kitchen island here. So if you're making your, let's say you're putting your juicer on there, you know, you always have a spot to be able to get some power. Or of course, more, <laughs> more uh, practically, your cell phone can be charging in here or your computer. Uh, so in Veer Towers, all the appliances are Bosch appliances, very nice high-end products. Uh, and the only thing, fun note, only thing about uh, that's not is going to be this KitchenAid vent that's right here. Uh, the only reason that was put in there by the developer, uh, as opposed to a Bosch, is that this vent tested higher in its, uh, in its rating. So it's a little bit better than the Bosch equivalent. Um, you have the square tubs. I love these square tubs here. Um, I really like them, but if you've ever had them, sometimes it can be a little bit difficult to clean. Um, but the style is fantastic. I love it. Uh, here we go, going through. You do have storage right above. So you do have that here. And the glass, I love the glass doors that you can see through. This one's kind of a bummer because look at, it's just a cabinet for the vent. <laughs> bummer. But uh, at least you do have more storage in other areas and I'll show you here in a bit. Bosch microwave, Bosch oven, and of course the Bosch washer here. And the refrigerator. Let's take a look at this one. Ah, they have the, the box in there for odors, the Arm & Hammer. <laughs> this box, this actually looks pretty clean. This may have been a really lightly used unit. Very cool. Oh, I love it. Here we go. And then going into more storage. So Veer actually does do a very good use of the storage. This is actually a very clean unit. Usually you'll find a lot of uh, dust or something from a unit, maybe that's been maintained from an out-of-state owner, which is very common here in Las Vegas. A lot of the times we do get owners that of course are, you know, this is not their primary residence. This is not their second home. It could be their second, third, or fourth home. Uh, and that is not uncommon for properties like this here in town. Here we go. You have it. Oh, I love this. So of course you do have your closet that's going to be in the bedroom, right? But you do have an extra closet out here as well. It's like a coat closet, but a lot of people use it for their clothes. It's an extension of their primary closet. Um, in the high rise condos here in Las Vegas, you do get um, very minimal storage, if I can be honest. So it's any storage you can get is very useful uh, with day to day living. And I mean, if it's your vacation home, then of course, not too much of a problem here. Uh, looking over here, looking from this vantage point, uh, you're gonna see this indent in the wall here. Now, some owners have been very creative with this and they have put in um, a eat up bar area. So you have a, a high top bar uh, that you can have there for extra guests. They may have actually made it into a bar and done the whole full to see, you know, ceiling to flooring area there, which is very cool. Um, or they turn it into an office. So you can have your workspace while you're out because let's be honest, everybody who is traveling or maybe uh, using this as a vacation home, we usually have some kind of work that we still are doing on vacation. 
Um, this is your air handler unit. And all of your vents for, or all of your, um, the filters that are here, they're actually very large filters. They're very thick, have a lot of media in there to keep it really clean, the air in the building. Um, but all of those can be purchased right downstairs by the concierge. So um, if you ever have a dirty one, you don't have to go out to Home Depot and, and find a filter somewhere that's you know off strip. You just go right downstairs and it's right there. Super convenient. Now, heading into the master bedroom. Now again, guys, oh, I wanna tell you this. If you are getting use of this video, check my other videos, all of them, because <laughs> I do high rises a lot of the time. And please like and subscribe. It really helps me out and helps the channel. Appreciate it. Now let's get back into this. So here we're going into the master bedroom. In here, I know I have a wide angle lens right now. I'm filming on my iPhone, but I'm doing a wide angle lens so you can see everything. But don't get uh, discouraged with that because you can fit a king size bed in here very easily. It has enough space to accommodate it, which is I personally do like because if it's me and my wife, we usually have uh, something else like my little son that will come run in the bed in the morning or uh, before uh, <laughs> before I uh, decided to kick the dog out of the bed, my wife would always have her, bed, uh, her dog with her at bed uh, when we were sleeping, right? So that really came in handy having the extra space, of course. And I love this floating tub. So it's, it's kind of a hit or miss. Some people absolutely love it. And some people say, oh my gosh, I'm taking a, a bath. I don't want my partner to see me in here. It's too revealing. And of course, this is Veer Towers in city center, one of the most trendy spots here in Las Vegas. And of course, these are set up as vacation homes as well, a lot of the time. So having a very sexy bathtub is what they were going for uh, with when they were building this. They wanted some fun that you may not have in your normal residence at home. So there's your closet and going into the bathroom. So this bathroom is very nice. So it's set up so that if you have guests, they don't have to walk through your bedroom to come into the restroom area. You can separate with this door, your actual bedroom and the restroom area. So when they come in, the guests have a second door over here on this side. Hey, how you doing? <laughs> um, this is right off of the front door area. So you can have your guests being entertained in the kitchen. Uh, right when they come in, here is your restroom area right off to the left uh, when they come in. Uh, so now in here, we do have a towel rack over on this side. I wanna show you, of course, all the areas here for storage so you can see what it looks like all the way around. And I love the shower here. You know, showers and tubs, man. I am a shower person. Um, I love the space. I love having the bench. So of course, you know, if you just, having the bench for storage, one, because you may have a lot of bottles that may not fit in the nook that they have here. Let me open this up so you can get a clear view of it. They have the shower nook here and then the bench. Uh, and then of course the, uh, the, the pebble flooring. I love it, I love it. It reminds me of beach houses. Uh, and then you have your chrome fixtures here and the wand. I uh, love having the wand area as well. Uh, maybe if you have a pet or um, a little one with you, uh, it's very convenient. Wands are very convenient, I found out, for uh, giving baths to little kids. I uh, just had, um, well, I actually have a three-year-old now, and it's fantastic. I have one at my property, and I just get it, and it's fantastic. Works really, really well for quick baths. Uh, now, going back in here, this is, we're back into the main area. So quick and easy view of this condo. Uh, one thing I do wanna point out is that the color palette here is a light color palette. Uh, this is the lightest one that they have here in Veer Towers. And let me get you over to this view again, of course. The, uh, the view speaks for itself. But as for the color palettes, there are three color palettes that are in the property. There is the, me the light, medium, and dark. So all of those options are in Veer. And if you did like this floor plan and maybe you did not want the amazing lights of the strip of Las Vegas Boulevard, we can get you an interior unit that will cost less. At right now, they're in the high 400s, low 500s. Uh, and right now, this one is, of course, $630,000 for this gorgeous property. Now, this is the one bedroom, one bath here in Veer Towers. I appreciate you taking a look at my channel and I hope this helped you out. And if it did, 
please like and subscribe. We will have, uh, have a great day and I'll get more videos out. I'll talk to you soon.